Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with another Rugby24 wishlist video and today it's the start of the big one. The career mode, the mode in the game that I'm most excited to see and get stuck into. What do I wish and hope is in that game mode? That's what I'm going to break down into today's video and I'm splitting it in two parts which I'll, ex I'll explain about a bit more shortly. But before we get into it, please do drop a like if you enjoy this content, leave a comment down below, give me your thoughts and what you want to see in the career mode on Rugby24. Always interested to hear what you guys have to say, so drop it down in the comments below and if you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things rugby 24 all things rugby video games as well please do follow me on my socials while i do stuff on there as well short format rugby gaming videos uh, and much much more but yeah we're gonna get stuck into it straight away now um this first video the first part of this career mode wish list like i said i'm gonna split it into two um, because fingers crossed we'll get two types of career mode. Hopefully we'll get a team slash coach career mode, which is what I'm going to talk about today and my wish list for that. But stick around in the future because I'll also be doing a pro player type career mode wish list as well. Fingers crossed Big Ant Studios provide us with that. Something similar to what they have in their cricket games where you can take your own player choose his nationality, choose his position and work yourself through a long, long career, hopefully from club level all the way to international British and Irish Lions type level. But yeah, I'll get more into that in a second part to this career mode wishlist video, which will be coming soon. So stick around on the channel if you want to see that. But today we're going to concentrate on a team slash coach career mode. So, you know, the staple of most games, similar to your FIFA career modes and your franchise modes and the NBA games, I want to be able to take the Bristol Bears, take them through a many, many seasons, buying new players, winning trophies, looking to progress and, yeah, field job offers, get an international job offer, take on England perhaps, win a World Cup, become the coach of the Lions, all this sort of stuff. And we're going to discuss that today in this video. So fingers crossed, I'm pretty sure Big Ant Studios, if you look at their previous sports games, their career modes are quite robust. Uh, lots of information, lots of stuff going on. So I'm really excited for that. Um, but yeah, let's get stuck into my career mode wish list. Now let's set the scene, of course, I want to be able to choose any team from around Europe. Uh, fingers crossed if they're not licensed, Big Ant Studios will give us the ability to edit teams from all over the world. I would love to see some lower league um, action in there, particularly the championship in England. I would love to be able to take a championship team all the way to glory, but who knows. So yeah, let's say for example we're choosing the Bristol Bears. I want to be able to be their coach. I want lots of different options. But yeah, let's break down some things that I really want to see in the game uh, in the team slash coach career mode. Uh, so for starters, I want immersion. Immersion. I want lots of cutscenes, things like that along the way to spice things up. I don't just want main menu into a game, back to main menu into the game. I would like to see lots of different cutscenes now, whether this is sort of warming up on the pitch beforehand, whether this is post-match interviews, whether this is um, you know just your coach giving team talks, things like that, whether it's a big, big derby game and it's showing both teams getting ready, perhaps coming off the bus, things like that. You know, I I will put a caveat in that I'm, you know, if anyone from Big Ant Studios is watching, I'm not expecting everything to go in there. Of course, I'm not. This is just my wish list. I understand it takes a lot of work to get these things into the game. Uh, this is just my thoughts. But yeah, cutscenes is a huge thing for me to break up the gameplay, the menus, all that side of it. So yeah, that is my first thing on the wish list. Lots and lots of cutscenes. 
And rolling into cutscenes as well, transfer negotiations. Could we get a FIFA style transfer negotiation system where you meet up with a, uh, a coach of the of the team you want to join perhaps you're going out for dinner and you talk through contracts things like that so yeah including in the cutscenes would be things like that with the transfer negotiations and then just basically the negotiations in whole of course on previous rugby games you haven't really had the chance to scout out players put in a bid um, offer them contracts things like that i mean normally in rugby uh, players sort of move from team to team once their contract expires so there's not really any major transfer fees or anything like that perhaps you could have a section where you could look at the upcoming free agents start offering them contracts things like that taking everything into account including salary caps um, that could be an option at the start of the series uh, of your career mode perhaps you want a really in-depth career mode so you turn salary cap on negotiations all that sort of stuff set a difficulty and if you don't want all of that and you just want to sign all the players you want perhaps you could turn that off before you start the career mode and you could have a more unrealistic but fun career mode like that but yeah that is a big part of rugby transfer negotiations the salary cap all that sort of stuff and sort of linking into that is player interactions um, so a bit like what you see on FIFA and football manager things like that you know perhaps a player hasn't been picked for a while his morale's going down he wants to come to see you have a little chat uh, get your plans for him in the future and what you see um, how you see this player developing perhaps something's happened perhaps someone's passed away in his family perhaps he's he's got a baby on the way all these sort of things could pop up at any point in the career mode and again that just adds to the immersion and the longevity of the whole thing having these things come up perhaps you've got a big game and you think right we're really gonna do well in this game and then all of a sudden your captain comes to you oh sorry there's been a, a bereavement in the family and i don't think i can play this weekend so then you've got to change your starting 15 all that sort of stuff uh, injuries as well that is another big thing having injuries realistic injuries where players um pick up injuries they give you a time frame a recovery all that sort of stuff um, and that sort of also plays into training making sure you are able to do training if you would like or you can delegate it to an assistant making sure you know if you think your team is struggling defensively then working on your defense in training um, if you think your kicking game is struggling, working on that in training, for example. So lots of different stuff there that you can get involved with. I mean, as a more general thing as a team, I would like to see as many tournaments in there as possible, whether that's real or whether you have to edit them, whatever it may be, just give us the option. I mean, a particular thing for me as well is the European Cups particularly as a Bears fan, if I want to control Bristol in the Premiership, you know, I, if I'm not challenging for the league title, I want there to be other incentives. Can I finish in, the, you know, the top four for the playoffs? Can I finish in the top eight to get Champions Cup rugby? Uh, just having that on the side as well. Perhaps the Premiership Rugby Cup could be in there. Um, I mean, I very much doubt it would be, but that would be another fantastic option as well. And you could play your reserve players or youngsters and really build them up. Um, that would be something good. But yeah, particularly the European competitions for me, that is a big thing. I want to be able to win the European and League double with all these teams, things like that. And speaking of youngsters, an academy system would be nice as well, where you can bring forward the youngsters and uh, try and integrate them into the team that can be a real challenge something i really love doing on other sports games is sort of trying to find a diamond in the rough as it were in your academy and blooding them into the first team and making them go all the way uh, to international stardom that would be uh, another good thing as well um so yeah basically having your full pathway from the academy all the way to international um 
international rugby. Speaking of international rugby, I would love to see the proper world ranking system implemented into the game. So say you've done well with a club team, you've got your job, you've got your international offer, you, you know you can see the rankings at any point in the statistics menu of the career mode. You know, say you're taking over as Argentina coach and you really want to get them up to world number one. Um, World Cup challenges, you could view that in the rankings, seeing how well you're doing, seeing where the teams are, and just scouting out opponents as well. You know, perhaps you've got a tour of uh, Japan coming up and you want to see where they are in the rankings, who they've played recently, all that sort of stuff. That certainly adds to it. Um, what else are we mentioning here? Uh, another thing that sort of incorporates all of that is just job offers in general. Could there be a job offers screen? Uh, that you can keep up to date with uh, perhaps you're in the premiership you're doing well perhaps someone over in the top 14 is interested in you uh, the urc for example perhaps leinster want to come in with a job offer uh, and try and tempt you away but more importantly the international side of things of course um, if it is sort of a coach career mode you know, you could start all the way at the academy or club level. I know in Big Ant Studios cricket games, you can start all the way from the club level. Some of the clubs are, of course, not real or anything like that. But even if it's uh, made up clubs that you can start with and progress all the way to perhaps championship, um, up to premiership, international, getting job offers and getting teams interested in you. Of course, abroad as well. There's a, a lot of money in the Japan, J Japanese leagues, for example. You've also got the MLR, if that's going to be in the game. Perhaps you've done well at premiership level and you fancy a change of scenery. You want to go away to America for a couple of seasons and try and win the MLR. Job offers and things like that is certainly a massive, massive thing. And then we get into the last thing that I've got wrote down here which is something that has been missing for the last few rugby games. I mean, the Rugby Challenge series had a good career mode, but the stats and the ratings of players did not change. There was no need or reason to change your team year on year. The youngsters didn't get any better. The better players didn't decrease. I would like to see pro progressive or degressive player ratings throughout the career. I want to be able to take that youngster from the academy, perhaps he's rated 60 something, and improve him, playing him week in, week out, using the training, and getting him up to the 90s, the 80s, whatever it may be, and becoming a world star. That would be absolutely fantastic. And same the other way. Perhaps you've got a world cast player. He's not going to stay world class forever. He gets older, injuries come, perhaps he's not playing as much. I would like to see those ratings drop. And again, the big word for career mode is immersion and getting you stuck into this career mode world and things like that really do help. Progressive player ratings, up and down, changing from season to season, uh, which just makes things a lot more fun. So yeah, brief recap really. Uh, Cutscenes are a big thing for me. Real tournaments, as many as possible, particularly the European competitions and lower levels. An academy system, which we can link into player ratings and having them increase, decrease over time. Job offers and being able to manage teams and international teams all over the world. Player interactions, transfer negotiations, all that sort of stuff coming under one thing. And uh, yeah, I mean, a full pathway from academy, club level, all the way up to internationals and the British and Irish Lions. And I think that's pretty much all that I've got wrote down for a team slash coach career mode. I mean, I'm like I already said, I understand that Big Ant Studios aren't going to be able to implement all of that. Um, it's just my wish list, just my ideas, but just getting a few of them, some particularly the key ones, cutscenes player ratings going up and down um, and, and job offers, things like that are probably the key ones for me. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what we get when Rugby 24 comes out. Please do a drop a like if you've enjoyed today's content. Leave a comment down below. Give me your thoughts on this career mode wish list. Is there anything missing? Is there anything you would like to see in here that I haven't mentioned? Or do you agree with all the points that I've brought up? 
course, if you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button. Look out for a career mode wish list part two, where we'll be talking about a possible pro player career mode where you're controlling just one player. That will probably be the final wish list video. So that stick around for that. Subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on all socials to keep up to date with the channel. If you want to go a step further, then you're welcome to become a channel member and get access to all sorts of different perks. But I've been the Bears Gamer, and I'll see you in the virtual scrum. Man from Bristol. Take two shots of the ting. Come let it bang like a pistol. Girl in the party, blowing the ting, just like a whistle. Yeah, they love their god, but where we're from, it's more like a crystal. Cause man are from Bristol. Man are from Bristol. Take two shots of the ting, come let it bang like a pistol. Girl in the party, blowing the ting, just like a whistle.